Yes, hello and welcome aboard everybody on this uh, wonderful tour around Copenhagen. My name is uh, Vincent, I'll be your guide. Up front we have a beautiful man, his name is Benjamin and he is our captain. Yeah, it's going to be a good tour around Copenhagen for sure. Now, um, <clears throat> please, uh, no smoking on board. And then everybody outside, especially you in the back, yeah, very, very important that you stay seated under all the bridges, yeah. We're going to have 14 bridges on the tour, so please uh, be aware that when I say there is a bridge, stay seated and mind your heads because some of the bridges are right above your heads and the pictures are real cool but your lives are much more important yeah so stay seated under all the bridges please guys this is still Josh Frisnido and welcome back to my YouTube channel it's actually a cold morning moist yung camera ko I'm on the last stage of my Scandinavian adventure and this is my my last stop so come on guys join me and let's explore Copenhagen the capital of Denmark let's go <music> Colorful, captivating Nyhaven is one of the Copenhagen's most iconic sites and one of the locals' favorite places to sink a cold beer on a hot day. Nyhaven is one of the best places to visit in Copenhagen and definitely worth it. If you have ever seen a photograph of Copenhagen, chances are it was a postcard of Nyhaven. This old part of the city was built in the 17th century as a commercial port but have since been renovated into a tourist attraction full of restaurants and colorful old houses along both sides of the port. It is definitely one of the most photogenic places in Copenhagen. Enjoying the Grand Canal Tour is a must in Copenhagen. Experience Copenhagen from the water on a canal cruise and see how the past and present merge as you travel along the main harbor and adjoining canals. Depart from Nyhaven and see lovely houses, ancient castles, and beautiful churches along the way. The cruise will pass the Little Mermaid statue. The tour guide will also explain the history of the statue and all the buildings and landmarks as you pass. Yes, hello and welcome aboard everybody on this uh, wonderful tour around Copenhagen. My name is uh, Vincent, I'll be your guide. Up front we have a beautiful man, his name is Benjamin and he is our captain. Yeah, it's going to be a good tour around Copenhagen for sure. Now, um, <clears throat> please, uh, no smoking on board. And then everybody outside, especially you in the back, yeah, very, very important that you stay seated under all the bridges, yeah. We're going to have 14 bridges on the tour, so please uh, be aware that when I say there is a bridge, stay seated and mind your heads because some of the bridges are right above your heads and the pictures are real cool but your lives are much more important yeah so stay seated under all the bridges please and as i say 14 altogether on the tour this tour is offered in danish english and italian and those are the three languages Right, please find the seats again. Uh, you might recall this bridge here is real low. Yeah, so stay seated, please. Lowest bridge of the tour. Once again, stay seated. The bridge is right above your heads. Please stay seated. Thank you. Now the bridge there does actually open when it has to, that's of course how these uh, big boats they are. Uh, says when it went that fast, it meant a lot of tough work for the people involved. Now it has uh, suddenly turned into a beautiful day here in Copenhagen. Yeah, you chose well because the first uh, tour, oh my god, 
was raining and the second two are very cloudy and now the sky is uh, slowly turning blue and a bit of sun just amazing and 50 people living in the North Harbour, only 250 people. The projection is that they want to have 40,000 people living out there in about 20 years time. Right our, right, our very capable captain has all the eyes for one very beautiful woman now. She is as uh, beautiful as she is, of course, also popular and as popular as she is a teeny, teeny, tiny, yeah, the little mermaid coming up on your right hand side in just a second. Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. The statue here itself was a present from the brewmaster of the Carlsberg breweries, Carl Jacobsen. Jacobsen donated her to Copenhagen in 1913 and had Edward Eriksen create her. Yeah. So she's been sitting out here on her rock for 108 years. In August, she was. Up in the evening, time as well. Stay seated, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And in front of us now we have uh, the black diamonds. The black diamond here is the newest part of the Royal Danish Library. The old library is uh, hiding right behind it. The black diamond from 1997. No, and even then the dates still said no. Yeah. So German people thought that sounded like a plan, so they moved in and uh, started inhabiting the place. So it became a population of Germans to begin with. But not today. It is definitely one of the most beautiful areas of the Royal Danish areas of the city to live in as well. Now it's a quiet so that you have my microphone, yeah, because my voice has a tendency to go through all, so give me a microphone and it flies off into Sweden, yeah. So the neighbors are getting a bit tired of my voice, and that is not very, very, very understandable. Another guy who might be a bit tired of my voice is the captain up here, but he can't really go anywhere, he's stuck here with me all day long, yeah. Now uh, you get a little well-deserved break from my voice, uh, find a seat, stay seated because we're going to sail under the butterfly bridge uh, now and sail into our take on Amsterdam here in Copenhagen, beautiful, beautiful Christian town, let's say a quiet thank you to King Christian IV for everything he's done for Copenhagen. Welcome. Yes, uh, just uh, find the seats there and uh, stay seated because there is a bridge coming up. But right after the bridge on your left hand side, there is a fantastic.
left hand side right after the bridge here, our Savior's Church. Our Savior's Church on your left. Our Savior's Church on your left hand side. especially in the spring and the summer so it's beautiful also in December it's lovely with Christmas coming and all the little Christmas lights all over the place yeah right that is uh, pretty much it I really hope that you uh, enjoyed the tour around uh, Copenhagen remember that uh, with your ticket yeah if you show it again you get a 20% discount if you purchase something else with my company a bus or a book trip or something like that and uh, then I just hope you have a fantastic uh, day and evening here.